Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, False Symmetry. And today on episode, I think it's about 56 perhaps, maybe, I'm not quite sure. Uh, quickly, firstly, a apology for not having a video up uh, on Saturday. This probably won't make a difference for a lot of people since... And maybe you'll be watching so, so far in the future that it doesn't even matter, it doesn't even make sense, the video's just there, and there's probably about 100 more videos or so on the server. Anyway, so, uh, no worries about that, but today in the UK, it is literally boiling. Like, it's literally 27 degrees C. Now, I know there's lots of you guys that live in super hot countries, and therefore 27 degrees C is nothing, but let's just say it is super, super humid, and especially in this little tiny room that I record in, where I don't have any air conditioning or anything like that, it is super warm. So I thought today, what we would, we would do is work in a super cool environment, because there is one thing that I literally forgot to do, and that is set up the dogs in my pet shop. Because yes, I, uh, at some point in the past video, I can't even remember what video it was, um, we got loads and loads of wolves and stuff, so I need to get them guys in a pen. Now, I've dug out the area a little bit, although it will need to be dug out a little bit more in here next to the polar bears in the lovely, cool, calm environment. And, uh, currently they're being stored in this little room back here, which is just a storage room for them. <laughs> yes, there are an awful lot. And, uh, they do seem to have not despawn, which is a very, very good sign. So we've got plenty here for all the hermits that don't have dogs currently. I think what I'm going to be selling them for is maybe about 20 diamonds each, maybe a little bit more, maybe like 30 diamonds. I think I can really, really push up the price. I believe someone said at some point that they would actually pay a sack of diamonds for a dog, so maybe like 40 diamonds. I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that. Like, so I only really have to buy one. And I will have this guy here ready to breed with it. And I think that, therefore, you should be able to get two dogs uh, for the price of one, technically, by breeding them. Which, to me, 40 diamonds is not bad at all for a set of dogs. And then you're set for life to just breed them up and uh, have loads. But yeah, I think I need to do a bit more digging. I'm going to make this a nice rounded room, kind of to match this one, maybe a little bit smaller. And uh, we're going to get started on this today, but yes... Oh, if only, if only I could feel the temperature from this room right now, that would be wonderful. But sadly, no, it's boiling hot today. So apologies if my brain isn't working at any point during the video. That's what happens when it gets way too warm in this room, as everyone in stream usually can tell. But yes, let's get going and uh, build a nice little dog pen for them. Okay, so I've dug a really, really nicely shaped area out down the head, but I've had a bit of a heads up that not only have I sold some stuff down here, but I do actually have... I believe a message left for me over at my sheriff's office so we're gonna go check that out in a second but look at that we have sold a whole bunch of ender chests we have sold it looks like we've sold a bit of obsidian but apparently because I, I I don't know about you guys but I keep this all symmetrical so I would like move something like that over there once I've been paid for something but there seems to be something missing so whether or not someone's paid for that I don't know, but the inner chests have indeed sold, so I'm taking that, 20 diamonds, that's nice, I need to make some more of those, uh, maybe some more of those, but they're not really selling too quickly, but yeah, so it looks to me like we might have to go over to the sheriff's office to check out what's been going on over there, maybe I've got a report of a crime or something that we might need to investigate in the future, so let's drop over there and uh, see what we have waiting for us. So, here we are at the sheriff's office. It says, got a crime to report, fill in a book inside, of course. So maybe someone has filled in a book. Oh, hello, cat. Oh, I forgot there was a pressure plate on that side. Uh, and here we go. Here is where they fill in the books. Nothing in there. Zuma seems to have removed his head from the, the list of most wanted, I see. But we've got some help needed. Okay, let's have a read. Sheriff False, there has been unlawful behaviour in the Brown Districts. One of the Logfellers Enterprises has been comp compromised. A diamond trade route has been tampered with and diamonds are being stolen by none other than Cubfan135. The evidence has been recorded and submitted as evidence to YouTube in episode 519. Us Logfellers wish to, wish to go through the legal proceedings pursuing this villain and bringing him to justice. Please contact us ASAP. Signed, Azuma. Okay then. Doggies. This isn't one for you, sadly. Sorry about that, dudes. Uh, my uh, my little doggy task force over here. They're really raring to go. 
But there's no one there's no one to take out today. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. Another time maybe. But um yeah, so obviously that evidence isn't quite around yet, but I will definitely contact Zuma ASAP about that. And then we will have to maybe deal with it, but who knows? I know for a fact the courthouse isn't quite complete. Scar is definitely working on that at the moment, but I don't know. We will definitely have some investigating to do. I guess we will have to drive up to uh, up to where it is to investigate at some point in the future. So uh, there we go. First task. And uh, it is definitely an interesting one, so we will definitely take a look at that evidence soon. Back over at the pet shop, and as you can see down here, we have made progress. We have dug out the area in a nice circular fashion. It's very, very similar to size to this one in here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because we do need extra room because of the amount of dogs we have. And also, if we have needed more in the future, we could definitely gather some. So I've got my blocks on me right now, of which I think I'm going to be using. They're very, very similar to the ones in here. In fact, they're exactly all the ones that are in here. I don't think I've got anything extra. I think I bought over some glass if I need it and some dye and some detail flower pots and things but other than that I don't think there's much more we need than this. Oh and some ice and some compact ice of course which I might need to get some more of because I only have 36 blocks. But what I'm going to do guys is start a time lapse. I have a little small plan about how this room's going to work, mostly just keeping the floor plain, simple, having a bit of design in it, but that is it. It's just going to be a very plain, simple room, but it should look cool, hopefully. It just doesn't have much of, like, much purpose other than to store some dogs. Uh, maybe we'll keep them in a nice fashion where we'll have two dogs there, two dogs there, two dogs there, in pairs perhaps, if people do want to buy two, I guess probably just one, so maybe one there, one there, one there, and one there. Having them like that, I guess. I don't really know, giving them different colour collars, perhaps, also. I don't know, we'll, we'll talk about how we display this in the future. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead, and you know what? Let's roll our time lapse. Well, that went by nice and smoothly. It is looking good. I've put up some signs that says new untamed wolves now in stock. They are 40 diamonds each. I think that's pretty good because technically you get two. You just breed the other one with uh, my dog that isn't in here yet. I need to bring him in here. Where are you going to sit, dude? I don't know. I was thinking whether or not I should put a book up there. I mean, this should be pretty simple to understand. I don't really want people to be buying two of the untamed ones, mostly because, not not necessarily that I'm going to run out of stock, but because I don't want them to be, you know, be basically paying like 80 diamonds for two when they don't need to. They only need to pay one time for technically two of them. So we're going to pit this guy here, I think. I was thinking about naming him, and then I can say, breed with this dog to get a second for free. Are they going to be able to notice him? I was going to put him in front, but then I think I just put the payment chest in front. Um... To make it nice and easy, I'm going to put some bones in here as well so they can actually tame them. These guys I'm very, very happy with because they haven't decided that they want to go and get the chickens over there, which is very, very good. And they look really cool. I think I'm going to add two more. So what I've been doing, as you guys will probably uh, know already, is I get in the boat with them. <laughs> and then I basically, uh, I was going to say swim. swim. <laughs> I take them over here. I basically paddle Paddle on land, all the way over here. I'm hoping that this, this, this doesn't get fixed, the whole like, boats on land thing. It's literally the most fun thing ever. But I've actually been thinking about boats more recently, in that I really want to make a mini game, and I think the boats is something I want to try out, because Zombie Cleo kind of touched on it a little bit last season. She had a really, really cool boat game, and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a cool one, the one that was very kind of... Simple, yeah, a lot, a lot of fun, especially if you play with different people each time, and, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes the simple games are best, and it's something that I really, really like, especially as someone that isn't super technical, but yes, I need to 
do some beeping noises because this guy is not going to be in place. There we go. I basically try and line them up. I think that's going to... Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You're pretty well lined up. I'm not going to faff around too much. As long as I've got five in there, untamed, and then that guy that is tamed by me. I'm pretty sure it still works like that. I'm not, I can't really check uh, unless someone else comes here. But I think what I'm going to do is spread these guys out. I'm going to get you out of here. Because you are the next one to go in there. You are the lucky one that might get sold. Who knows? You are going to be the doggy in the window. And then I think I'm going to spread these guys out a little bit. Spread them forwards because it is a little bit cramped in here, as you guys can see. And it just makes it a little bit easier to get them all out. Oh god, it's very, very buggy as well. But, uh, but yeah, uh, we have plenty left. I didn't really need to bring this many over here, but I kind of like it as well. Uh, just because it's so silly. This room is just so silly. Look at all them. There's still loads. Like, it looks like I haven't really taken any out of it. Yeah, I've taken five. So, yeah. Um, I'm really, really glad that he didn't despawn here. So, I've very, been very, very lucky with it. Uh, and I have also added a sign, well, up there, so I can actually move boats through here that says no, no entry, Polar Express. And I also put a sign in front of the Polar Bear enclosure to say that they aren't for sale. Because we did sadly lose one, which I think I mentioned in videos. I'm not quite sure, but we lost Little Speedy. The only one that was named. The one that we got as a cub, who was super, super speedy as a little baby cub. But, uh, which is why, you know, hence the name. Uh, but he somehow suffocated or something, so I don't really want to sell them. Because, uh, obviously it's possible another one might die, but uh, from from something random, I'm not even sure what. And it's possible that they might die on someone else as well. So I don't want someone buying it and then being like, well, it's died and then I'll take another one. Because I've only got three and I don't really fancy bringing any one of these guys over for now. Maybe in the future I will want to do this project again in live streams and have a bit of fun bringing over the polar bears. But for now... You guys are going to have to chill. So you're kind of more of an exhibit, which I really, really like. These guys are adorable. And it makes me so, so happy that I brought them over here. Even though it's just such a silly thing. I love it. I do kind of love it. But yes, polar bear's not for sale. Maybe I'll name them when, when I get a whole bunch of name tags. But anyway, I think we are done here, guys. I think we are literally done. I'm going to change the colour of this guy. I can't actually... These guys don't even have collars. Why did I... Sorry, I thought I heard that one of them angry then. That was worrying. Not sure whether or not I should get one out of a boat just to see if it's angry, but I don't think they are. There are chickens and that over there, I think. Chickens and sheep and things, but they, they seem to be okay. And I'm sure that, I don't know, I guess I should maybe put a gate here just in case they do run up here and someone has a panic with one of the wolves and, <laughs> and they try and hop in there. That could, that, that will definitely happen, actually. I think they could probably do that. So, yeah, we'll have to put a little safety measure in place. But that is sadly it for this episode, guys. Sorry if it was a bit of a short one. But, obviously, time lapses are a lot more easy to do when uh, I literally, one, don't have a lot of time. And also, um, it's very, very humid. I am going to be away at the end of July, but I will have radios ready. So, I'm getting a little bit ahead. So, apologies if there's any spoilers or exclusive previews at any point. But I'm really, really looking forward to the coming projects. I've got a lot of things in mind that I want to do. And I'm very, very excited about them. So remember to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.